As the owner of a sports bar on Main Street in Concord, State Senator Andy Sanborn is in the business of bringing people together for a good time. But at the State House, the Bedford Republican is probably the last person his colleagues would call a go-along to get-along kind of a guy. I'm not afraid to criticize things that I think are against the people of New Hampshire. Sanborn is in his fourth term in the Senate and his wife Lori is a force in the New Hampshire House. Both are known as conservatives, unafraid to clash with establishment Republican leadership. He'll run for Congress as an outsider, but knows midterm elections tend to be all about who's in the White House. Yet here in New Hampshire, we have four Democrat representatives in Washington, D.C. that spend all of their days, and none more powerfully than Representative Shea Porter, beating up on Republicans and beating up on what's happening in D.C. A hotly contested GOP primary lies ahead. Navy veteran and former liquor enforcement chief Eddie Edwards is already in the race and courting conservative voters. They're not interested in someone who's going to move from election to election, seat to seat. They're, they're interested in an outside candidate like myself who understands service and commitment. Democrats say no matter what the field looks like in either congressional district, 2018 will be a referendum on President Trump. And that is the ironic thing about uh, Andy Sanborn running is that he fits the Trump mold so much. His record could not be more Trumpian. Another Republican considering a bid in the 1st Congressional District is former NHGOP Chairman, Vice Chairman, excuse me, Matt Mayberry, who is openly gay. So this could end up being a conservative but very diverse GOP primary. In the studio, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9. All right.